السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Tonight is the last night of Al-Isra al-Mi'raj. A night that came like a pat on the back of our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after Aam al-Huzn, the year of sadness, the year in which he lost the two dearest people to his heart, the biggest supporters of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his beloved wife, the love of his life, Khadija radiallahu anha wa ardaha, and his uncle, who was his backbone and his support from day one, Abu Talib. But not just that, he was also exposed to the incident of Al-Ta'if, when he went and he called the people, but they did not just reject him, but instead they sent children after him to pelt him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with stones and he got injured. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears his word of words of sadness and he sends him Angel Jibreel. And Angel Jibreel tells him, Allah is telling you, the angel of mountains is under your command. If you wish, he can close the mountains upon the people of Ta'if and totally destroy them. But Nabi al-Rahmah, the prophet, the messenger of mercy and peace says no. For perhaps out of their offspring might come someone who might say, Ashhadu anna la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Muhammad is his messenger. And after all of this comes the pat on the back, the night of Al-Isra al-Mi'raj. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is elevated in a way that he could never could have possibly imagined going from one level of heaven to the other and meeting the prophets and leading them in salah and seeing heaven and seeing hell and entering Sidrat al-Muntaha and meeting his creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he meets Sayyidina Ibrahim sitting and leaning his back on the Bayt al-Ma'mur, the Kaaba that's in heavens above the Kaaba that we have on earth. And Sayyidina Ibrahim tells him, convey my salams to your ummah, to you guys listening to me right now. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, and he tells him, tell your ummah that the plains or that Jannah is a vast plain with pure soil and sweet water and that the plants that you can grow in there are subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Ya Allah, every single one of us goes through years of sadness, through a year of sadness or a phase of sadness, but then with a little bit of yaqeen and certainty in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are elevated. Have yaqeen and look behind, look back in your days and think to yourself, was there a time that you went through where you felt the sorrow and the pain? And then after that, was there a time where you felt the pat on your back from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you felt that you were elevated in ways that you were never, would have never thought you could have? Think to yourself and continue saying, Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. And be certain that inshallah, after your sadness, there will come an elevation. And may it be, Ya Rabb, in a way that you would never ever expect, in a way that would honor you and elevate you and enter happiness upon your heart, Ya Rabb, just as he subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated his beloved in a way that he could have never ever possibly imagined. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.